Hey everyone, welcome to day six of our 12 days of Christmas. We're spending a few minutes together each day counting down toward Christmas because we want to know what the Bible has to say about making the most of our Christmas holiday. So today, instead of giving you six geese a laying, I'm going to give you three simple pointers on how to avoid the holiday blues. The holiday blues are a real thing. In America, we're tailor-made to experience them. A uh, big cause for the holiday blues is uh, feeling terrible because we don't eat right or sleep right. And we all struggle with this. We eat way too much sugary, salty, fattening goodness in sugar cookies and <laughs> things like that brought to our door. And uh, we learn that, that makes us feel terrible. Secondly, we overwork and overcommit and try to get too much done. And so we're just exhausted. And thirdly, oh, we focus on ourselves and all of our problems. And so it's just kind of a downward spiral, spiral where we don't feel good, we're exhausted, we focus on our problems, and it gets us in a big ball of blues. Well, if you and I are going to avoid those three things, then there are important steps that we need to take, three of them. First of all, you and I need to make sure we get enough rest. Psalm 127, 2 tells us that the Lord loves to give rest to his loved ones. He doesn't want us wearing ourselves out. So what if tonight, in fact, for a couple of nights between now and Christmas, we go to bed an hour earlier, put the phone in the kitchen, go to bed without it, turn off the TV, and just go to sleep and get an extra hour of sleep. I think if we did that for a couple of nights between now and Christmas, we'd feel like a million bucks. Great way to chase away the blues. Secondly, what if you and I just simplified our holiday? I mean, we feel so blue sometimes because we're stressed out and overworked. But what if we found ways to, to use maybe some really decorative Christmas paper plates uh, to have a good meal with family and friends so that at the end of the meal, we could just take the plates and throw them away. Dishes are done. And now we can get on with the part of the holiday that we enjoy the most, just being together with our loved ones. And thirdly, what if we carved out five minutes each day just to be in the Lord's presence and get our focus back on Him instead of ourselves and on our problems? Psalm 46.10 says, Be still and know that I am God. It's hard to know who the Lord is or what He wants us to do if we're never still. And so what if I did that? every day between now and Christmas. I mean, think about it. Get some extra sleep. Simplify some of my plans. Spend time with God every day, just being still. I think these three steps will go a long way toward banishing the holiday blues. Gracious God, I thank you for a Christmas holiday. I thank you we still have a week to prepare. And Lord, I want to be prepared. Father, I pray that you will give me wisdom and you'll give, grant me success in carving out a few minutes each day just to sit still in your presence. I want to focus on you, Lord. You're the reason for the season. And Father, help me to listen so I can get my priorities right. Father, I, I pray that I can get some extra sleep so I can be at my best. And Father, I pray that I can simplify things so I don't try to jam too much into a holiday and then ruin the whole thing or feel like I missed it after it's over. God, I want to be ready this holiday so I can make the most of Jesus' birthday. In the name of Christ we pray, amen.